So we definitely have a bit more snow now. Looking at easily a couple inches. This is super light and like fluffy stuff right now. It's not really packing into a whole lot of anything. Dogs like for eating on it. So there is some snow starting to accumulate on top. I'm not gonna walk on top to roof there with a couple inches of this loose snow. Be dangerous. But it is melting it though. I there's only just droplets on top there. Let's go ahead and check out the power usage inside. So here we are inside again. Getting a couple inches of snow now, heavy snowing. Let's see what the power trail. Whoa! How's it pulling so much power? Wow. So, huh, that's a lot, 194 watts. Um, okay, let me try checking something here. So I haven't done anything and I just looked at that it's pulling that much power. I mean, whenever it was just the, uh, like the routers going, before some of the snow started hitting, it was barely like 20 watts. And then it jumped up to 190. I mean, that is, they must have bursts of like super high amount of output. Because right now, like that should be, I thought 90 some watts is about the max. And obviously I know the routers are gonna set and use some power coming across there on a small amount, but they were barely registering, like, not even showing up before. But see, there you go, it just spiked up 200 some odd watts. So that must be it's rotating through its kind of heating cycles. That would be, oh, that's, that'd be a lot of power sitting and using on there. Well, hopefully this is informative for you. If there's something else you want me to try and kind of find out for you, definitely let me know.